Is our Zeta available to speak tonight? Begin with your question. Thank you for being present. We haven't spoken in a while. Can you give us any updates from your perspective on Earth's progress? From our point of view, our observation of your planet, Many things are taking place. There are great shifts in energy, great shifts in physical form on that planet. There are many that are questioning things that are taking place. There are many things that can be perceived as chaos on your planet. Do not allow it to be a distraction to your existence here on this planet. And that is not purposeful. It is not helpful for what your purpose is here on this planet. Allow it to be of non-existence for you. Do not take the things that are taking place on your planet as far as your politics, your environment, the other distractions from your existence and allow them to become your existence here on this planet. Your existence here on this planet is one to change the overall planet. We are here to assist you in that. We are here to guide you in that. The information that we provide is of that guidance. But if you are distracted by the things that are taking place, that the those that are not aware of the energy that is here, aware of our presence here. Those that are not aware of that are the ones that are fully distracted. Do not allow it to be a distraction. That is not your purpose. Your purpose is change. Changing and shifting the planet into a greater existence. This has happened over and over again with this planet and many other planets throughout your galaxy and many other galaxies that surround it. Change is inevitable for this planet and many others. Be part of this change. That is our message to you. Open yourself up to all things that are possible and allow change to be possible in your life. Allowing change to be possible in your life then allows change to exist here on this planet. Thank you. Can you please check your big database of knowledge and see if you can tell if has a star family uh, of Arcturians. She was told that she is Arcturian. Are you able to verify that for her? It is verified that the Arcturian race is what this individual belongs to, but what one must understand is that there are many galactic families that are tied to most individuals on this planet. That might be just one. That might be the primary galactic family that she is associated with, yes. So we have lives on all different planets, I guess. We incarnate all over the place. So would we say that our star family is our most recent 
planet of existence, or since time's not linear anyway, how do we find out what our primary, what does that mean by our primary star family anyway? To be perceiving it as a primary galactic, or as you would say, star seed family, is to put it into an existence of your time frame. You are correct when you mentioned the fact that there is no time. I exist here, just outside of your atmosphere, observing and understanding what is taking place on your planet. But I'm also to be in the existence on other planets as well. I can move back and forth across time. That is what is possible. You as well can do this. It is possible for the energetic being that resides inside of the physical being that resides here on this planet to travel to these other planets. Crossing the time barrier, as you would call it. It is possible. Allow yourself to understand that it doesn't serve to have an explanation of what planet you have just come from or what planet you are going to go to, but have the understanding that you are all one part of a larger galactic family. Your existence here, your existence on other planets, it all happens at the same time. Once you have this understanding, you then can tap into that information and bring it forward to this planet for its greater existence. That's why it is here. That's why you are here. That's why we all are here. Thank you. I think it's part of the human experience to want to relate to some ET family per se. Maybe that's why we're interested. And with that in mind, are you able to tell what her starseed family is? For the purpose of this information, the information that comes across is Illyrian from the Illyrian star system. Thank you. Aren't they the ones that look like cats? You perceive them in your form as that, yes. Thank you. That's pretty neat. Somebody recently told me they sensed that about me as well, even though we've spoken that I have a Zeta parallel life at the moment. Am I also part Lyrian? Again, as discussed, many have many galactic connections, family connections, starseed connections. It is by which you want to perceive which one you want to associate with at a particular time. So yes, you are correct when you say you have this connection as well. Though it may not be your primary connection, but it is a connection, yes. Is my primary one Zeta then? Your primary connection, your primary starseed galactic family connection is, yes, that of the Zeta. Thank you. Who are you? Are you on a ship now still? Yes, my existence is on a ship just outside of your planet. And can you tell us some of the other ET beings that you're working with, some other races that are on the ship with you now? Are they the same ones as we've spoken about before? Yes, there is an existence of the reptilian race. There is the blue avian race. There is the Lyrian race. There is the Octarian race. We coexist on many ships. It is an understanding that we coexist in our own location within that ship. This is how we can come to many different locations. We have to have the coexistence in order to travel to the other systems, to have the understanding and the connection point to that system. 
though we may not all interact closely with each other, we do exist and we coexist on the ship. So you get along, but you kind of keep to yourselves? That is correct. We probably could learn something from that here on Earth. Are you able to say anything about the upcoming solstice from your perspective? What to expect on Earth on June 21st? As we are preparing for the great energy shift that will take place on that particular period of time on your calendar, we want you to understand to prepare for it as well. Each cycle of your calendar as you perceive it, there is this energy shift, this magnification of energy that comes through to your planet. This one in particular is of highest importance. Prepare yourself ahead of time. Maintain the physical body in its optimal state. Take time to gather and be with one another during that time. Many will sense things that they have not sensed before. Experience things that the physical has not experienced. Experience things in the energetic form that resides in you. These will all be new experiences for many. Allow yourself to be open to it. Allow yourself to allow it to come in and change all that is. That is its purpose. That is why it is here. And this is why it will come through your planet very exciting times. Thank you so much. One last question. I asked the collective this a few days ago, but can you, or Will's higher self actually, but can you give me your perspective on the three days of darkness? Is that metaphorical or is that literal? From our perspective, this by which you mention the three days of darkness is something that is of your past. Many believe that it is coming again, though it is not going to happen in the same physical space as it had in the past. It would be, as you perceived it, a metaphorical perception of this. There is a greater energy shift taking place beside the energy that we just spoke about. There is an energy shift that is coming to your planet in a particular point in time. Many will experience this and they will believe that it is dark but it is just the greater energies that have not been experienced on this planet in the past. And they have not arrived yet. There is time. We have experienced these energies many, many times. They are overwhelming and they will take effect on the physical form. But have the understanding that it is not to be feared have the understanding that it is an overall shift, an overall transformation that is to take place. There will be situations on your planet that it will disturb the physical planet itself. It will also have an effect on those that have no understanding of the energy that is. This is why many perceive it as three days of darkness because they have no other understanding to account for. It is a shift of magnitude that your planet has experienced in the past, but not the physical beings on this planet have experienced. But again, don't fear it. Understand it. Become aware of it. And prepare yourself for it. 
And that is what we would like you to understand. Thank you. And it's, it's not the same thing as what we've been calling the event. What has to be understood is that, yes, there is, as you would call it, the event, the overall transformation of this planet into the next existence of this planet. But from what we want you to understand from a technical point of view is that your existence as a planet out in the solar system, in your universe, experiences wave upon wave of energy. The wave that we are talking about, that you would perceive as three days of darkness, is one that has not hit this planet in the physical existence here. So yes, it will be transformational, but it won't be on the level of what you call the event. It is a large wave of energy that is coming towards this planet. It will be transformational, but it will not be to the magnitude that you are expecting for the overall evolution of this planet. Should we expect our electronics to go haywire? As with all energy, it will have an effect on the physical objects on this planet, yes. Many experience these things when your sun, your star, expels large amounts of energy and your planet is in its path, there are disruptions. Yes, there will be a magnitude of disruption with this energy, but it is not to be perceived as bad. It is just what it is. Thank you. And I know you don't like time, but Will's higher self said it would take place in 2019. Can you verify that or pinpoint it any more specifically? based on your current observation. The time frame that was mentioned, yes, is in connection with our calculations that it will be near the end of this particular period of your planet. That is not to give a full understanding of an exact date. That is difficult. There are many factors in that. But it will be near the end period for this particular planet, yes. Wonderful, thank you. Do you have any other messages or anything we need to know that we haven't asked? There have been many questions about, as you call it, disclosure, about the existence of extraterrestrials on your planet, the existence of our craft around your planet. Understand that we have spoken about this in the past and that we've mentioned that disclosure is happening and will happen. Understand that if you have been observant of your media. They have been providing you information. This information that they are providing is of the truth, though it is of typical fashion for your media to provide it in a way that it is discounted or secondhand. Search out those articles. Understand those articles. They are providing the insight and the information that you seek as far as disclosure. This will continue. There will be a point at which full disclosure does take place. It is not to be fearful, but of understanding. We are here to assist and guide, as well as all other, as you would call them, extraterrestrials. All the other races that are here in existence now will be here for your guidance and your information. That is what we expect 
and that is what we look forward to. Coexistence on your planet, amongst you. We're excited for that too. Thank you very much. We're still waiting to see you when you feel that the time is right. I'd like to ask if the collective has any final parting message for us before we close. As the collective, as we sit here in observance into your realm, we thank you for allowing your time to be present. It is for us to provide the information that you seek. You have the capability of this information. Though the individual that sits in front of you allows it to come through in voice that you understand. You too have this capability. You must just shift your perspective just ever so slightly to open yourself up to this existence. Allow it to be a guiding force for your path, for your existence here on this planet. You may not speak the words that are given, but you will sense them. You will know them. They will be the truth that come in to you. Your energetic self will vibrate at a high level when you know that it is the truth. Allow this to be. Allow those things to come into you and guide you on your path. Thank you again. As always, the collective is here for your knowledge, your information, and your love. 